you know, there are people who come and say, Oh, you know, I, I don't understand what uh, do, do, lo what loving Allah means. It's not an intellectual thing. You're not going to sit and reason through it. Oh, you know, I, I'm going to into, think my way into loving Allah. Similarly, you're not going to do dhikr and dhikr. It, it's not a matter of dhikr. You can do dhikr night and day, every day in your life, and not understand that iota of what Allah's love is. To begin the process of loving Allah and feeling Allah's love, you have to do what Allah loves. If Allah tells you that Allah loves Ihsan, then that's what you must do. It is the performance of Ihsan that tenderizes your heart and that makes that magical touch, that magic of Allah's touch reaching in and transforms your relationship to your maker. It's like someone asked me some years ago, are you saying that I cannot fall in love with Allah unless I'm constantly helping everyone in need? This, this guy had a family that was in, his family members were, were not well off and so on. Until I pay, I spend my salary taking care of my family. And I said, yes. That's what I'm telling you. It's not your prayer, it's not your dhikr, it's not your sunnah, it's not your fasting. That's not going to teach you what Allah's love is. But being, being there for those who need you, being a bar, being a bar, a person of birr, that's what's going to you teach you what loving Allah is and you will feel Allah's love and you you will be able to understand for the first time what that relationship of love between Allah and the Abd is